in a moment you're going to get the joy of hearing me do a a short amount of Shakespeare and a speech from him. Well, some of the speech. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Let's open it up. This is a monologue spoken by Mercutio in Act 1, Scene 4 of Romeo and Juliet. For those not overly familiar with Romeo and Juliet who haven't done it since school and who find Shakespeare utterly boring, Mercutio is Romeo's mate. Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is a fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a theme of little atomies. Over men's noses they lie asleep, her wagon spokes made of long spinners' le legs, the cover of the wings of grasshoppers, her traces of the smaller spider web, her collars of the moonshine's watery beams, her whip of cricket's bone, the lash of fillum, a wagoner of a small grey-coated gnat not so half big as a round little worm picked from the lazy finger of maid. Now, uh, there's a good reason I'm doing Shakespeare, and I just happen to like that speech anyway, and I like folklore, so I thought I'd pick that one. Here's why I'm doing it. This particular um, acting company has come into prominence due to this version of Shakespeare, which stars a black uh, Juliet. Horrors, you you cry. And certainly the amount of abuse they've been getting is absolutely ridiculous, apparently. Here's The Guardian reporting on it. Romeo and Juliet theatres suffers barrage of online racial abuse. Yes, I can just imagine. I can imagine the horrors, the idea of like um a black girl playing Juliet. Oh, horror. What amuses me most about it is people will w waffle on about black people not embracing British literary culture on numerous channels and, and waffle on about that. There seems to be a growing market for it. But what indeed is this young lady doing but embracing British literary culture by playing Juliet? It seems you couldn't really win. <laughs> A theatre company has condemned the barrage of deplorable racial abuse that has been directed a cast member of a new production of Romeo and Juliet. In a statement on Friday, the Jamie Lloyd company said the online abuse must stop and that further harassment would report. Probably a good idea to report it. Unfortunately, I imagine it will grow to such ridiculous proportions that you would never be able to quell it unless you just turn off the social media which will kill, unfortunately, the use of social media to raise the profile for it. And I imagine there are some clowns deliberately trying to force that the theatre company to do that by overloading it with racist comments. Following the announcement of Romeo and Juliet, there has been a barrage of deplorable racial abuse online directed towards a member of our company. The company run by the director, Jamie Lloyd, said it would continue to support and protect everyone in our company at all costs. It's also got um, a, um, a gentleman who played Spider-Man as, uh, as Romeo. No reason why not to. People swap back between theatre and movie acting all the time. And I'd be basically more interested in judging it on the way it's staged and how it's played. Oh, I see they have a version of Sunset Boulevard with Nicole Scherzinger. Oh, yes, I can see that causing a few, a few, a few hissy fits as well and people running around the room, whereas it's irrelevant. The whole point about a Sunset Boulevard is it's a fading star who can't accept that her star has faded. You could get a black, a white woman or an Asian woman to play it. You could even sort of... Swap it to being a man if you did it in a particular way, I imagine. Although I think it would probably work best with a woman because of some of the themes. I can just see some of the, the horror stories about this being more race swapping and whatever. It's, after all, I mean, of course, Orson, Orson Welles is authentically it Italian who played um, Mercutio, who I read that speech for famously, as and all the actors who play roles in it in the Shakespeare plays are authentically from the, exactly the p place that's named as a setting for the play. This this never varies, of course. I find this um, much ado about nothing, shall we say.